Welcome to the GE Intelligent Platform Solution Video Series. In this episode, we'll explore using the PAX Analyzer. Need to get diagnostic information from your GE controller or PLC? The PAX Analyzer can extract valuable problem solving information from your control system to enable faster response and resolution. The PAX Analyzer top customer benefits include. Collect controller module revision information, including firmware revisions and serial numbers. A convenient way to examine fault table information. Easily access fault table extra data for engineering support. Analysis of Ethernet module operation. And an easy way to send diagnostic information to the support team. For this scenario, we are online with a PAC Systems RX3i controller. Notice that the software indicates that the controller is in the stop faulted state. To display the controller fault table, select the Target Diagnostics right click menu. You may also click on the target icon in the status bar. The fault table viewer is displayed and Logic Developer PLC retrieves the faults from the controller. Click on a particular fault table entry to see more details. Now let's use the PAX Systems Analyzer to retrieve diagnostic information from the controller. Select the Analyzer from the Machine Edition Utilities tab and select its open right click menu item to launch the utility. The PAX Analyzer tool supports both Ethernet and serial connections. An Ethernet connection is preferred. To use the Analyzer, you must connect to the specific Ethernet module's network. If you connect serially, only module information and fault tables are collected. Ethernet module data is not collected. Enter the controller's IP address, and then enter the output file name. Press the Get Data button to start the data collection. Observe the activity of the utility in the status log. The output file is automatically displayed for you. Observe the contents of the report. All the module information for Rack 0 is summarized first. The PLC fault table with all its details is listed next. Scrolling down, we see the I.O. fault table contents. Scrolling down further, we see the Ethernet module detailed analysis for the controller. You may now examine the report for diagnostic information and pass it on to the support team as needed. The resulting text file can be sent to the GEIP support team by sending an email to support.ip at ge.com. Be sure to include case number description in the email subject line, or use the customer center to attach the file to an existing case. If you want to learn more, check the video description to understand how to get the latest version of Prophecy Machine Edition, how to enroll in a controller maintenance or controller programming course, how to log a case with support, and how to get help with your GE solution. For more information, visit our public website at www.geautomation.com. Stay tuned for additional episodes in the Solution Video Series.